Hey guys and welcome to another Game Gengu JLPT N3 Grammar video. In this video, we're going to be covering もしかしたらもばも and もしもたら So if this video has a lot of hypothetical language that we're going to be covering today, very important stuff at the JLPT N3 level. So without further ado, let's get started. もしかしたら。This piece of grammar is used when you're trying to make a guess about something, but you're uncertain. Similar to how perhaps or by chance is used in English. This is used with a lower level of certainty when compared to a similar piece of language, tabun, for probably. Tabun is more about like an 80% certainty, whereas もしかしたら is more like anywhere from 30 to 50% certainty, very much making a guess about the circumstance. Expressing that there is a possibility, but not outright stating that it's likely. もしかしたら you could think of as kind of made of two parts. We have もしか for if or in case, and then したら The hypothetical form of sudu. Put them both together and you have もしかしたら This piece of grammar is mostly seen accompanied with another piece of supporting language at the end of the sentence, かもしれないかも meaning maybe and しれない is I don't know. So here expressing that you aren't sure but maybe it's the case. もしかしたら dun 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 かもしれない Adding かもしれない just adds additional emphasis to guessing about the situation, and you more often than not see it paired together with もしかしたら In fact, sometimes not adding かもしれない at the end of the sentence can give a weird feeling like you're making a guess but not at the same time. That's why it's pretty safe to just make sure that you always attach かも or かもしれない after もしかしたら and you should be okay. There are also some alternative uses of the same expression which hold mostly the same meaning but are just more formal or less casual in their use. With the most formal being もしかすると意志を継ぐものかもしかするとそれはん This is a little bit more certain. Then もしかすれば Again, another hypothetical form but just a little bit less casual. And then finally もしかしたら The N3 form that we have here today. There is also もしかして However, this expression is actually different in its use, and this is more of an interrogative or questioning piece of language when you're asking someone else if something is a certain way. もしかしたら俺の体を持っていた魔人かもしれん。ゼビオの王は物知りな方だ。もしかしたら元の世界へ帰る方法をご存知かもしれない。へえ、ここはオークション会場なのね。ここだったら、もしかしたら、プラチナの針が手に入るかも。もし、有罪になったら。うーん、10年とか、もしかしたら、もっと。正確な予想はつきません。もしかしてあの人、メインブラック何よ。あんた。So, like here in Final Fantasy X, perhaps we may be able to stop it. Here, both もしかしたら and かもしれない is used. Then in Dororo, we have maybe it's the demon god who took my body. Here, the かもしれない is just the more slang version, かもしれん In Dragon Quest, we can see that perhaps he knows how to get back to our world. Here in Final Fantasy IX, a more casual version, using kamo instead of kamo shirenai. If here, then maybe I might be able to obtain the platinum needle. And then finally, here in Judge Eyes, where we have a kind of unfinished sentence もしかしたらもっと Maybe even more. What exactly the more is isn't directly stated, but we understand based on the context. Maybe it might be even more than 10 years, perhaps 20 years. However, he's not giving that example. It's left for the listener to understand just based on context. So, as you can see, もしかしたら is a very useful piece of grammar to make about a 30 to 50% guess about something's likelihood. Maybe, or perhaps. Next, we have もば、も 
and this has quite a variety of different ways to look at its meaning, from and, also, as well, and even either or, and neither nor. But in the simplest way of looking at it, we have more for also, and then ba, the hypothetical. So if one thing is one way, then the other thing is also that way. X more Z ba, Y more Z. If X is also Z, then Y is also Z. So like seen here in kare wa nihongo mo dekireba eigo mo dekiru, meaning that he can do both Japanese and English. However, if you were to translate this literally, it would be something like, if it's the case he can speak Japanese, he can also speak English. This can be used with both two positives as well as two negatives. It can also be used to contrast two things. Osake ga suki na hito mo ireba, kirai na hito mo imasu. So we can see to use this, simply follow a noun with mo, and then put the following verb, adjective, or noun in the ba form, the hypothetical form, and then follow the point of comparison with mo as well. So this piece of language can be used simply to say that there are two things that are a certain way, often of similar evaluation, like both being good, both being able to do something, or both being negative. But it can also be used to compare two things, like people who like alcohol exist and people who don't like alcohol also exist. The second use is much more easier to see with a literal translation of if the first clause, the second clause also exists. If there are people who like alcohol, there are also people who dislike it. However, perhaps the literal translation can be a little bit tricky when you're comparing simply two things with the same evaluation. This has a bit of an unnatural feel to it. If he can speak Japanese, he can also speak English. In this sentence, the literal translation has a slightly different meaning than how it's actually being used. Here, this piece of language in Japanese is simply just saying that he can do both. Not that there's some sort of expectation of the situation, like it implies in the literal translation. And so this can be used with negatives as well, like we see in this example clip from Gundam. You have neither home nor family. Both home and family is something you don't have. And we can see again here in Metal Gear Solid, if he sleeps, then he also goes to the toilet, as he is human after all. There are both good guys and bad guys. And there are both times where you may need to take a little bit of pain, but there are also times when people may need to be removed from this world. So just remember that mo ba mo expresses a listing of things like and, also, and as well, but also that if x is the case, then y is also that way. x mo z ba, y mo z. If x is also z, then y is also z. I was going to show you a bit of 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 Tada. And this is very simply used to express if, in the case that, or supposing. Moshimo tada is an expression in which the speaker imagines that something is not actually there or has not actually happened and then imagines or supposes it that it were. To use this, simply put moshimo before a verb in the hypothetical form. Tada. Moshimo jikan ga atta ra piano o narai tai desu. If I had the time, I would like to learn the piano. So in this situation, there may not actually be enough time, but supposing there was, I would like to learn the piano. If I had the time, もしも so, just like seen here in this example, if he fails in his operation, he will resign. 
He hasn't yet failed, but in the event that he does, supposing he does, then he will do the following action. Resign. And just like here in Persona 3, if you hear the voice, tell me immediately. Or if you've lost your purpose, go home already. Or supposing my father were killed by a monster, I would avenge him. And finally, if something were to happen to you, our brother, what would we do? So quite simply, Moshimo, with a verb in the Tara form, is used to express supposition of a hypothetical situation, if it were the case. So a nice quick video here for the hypotheticals for the JLPT N3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in learning Japanese, then like, subscribe, and feel free to come join us on the Game Gengo Discord by supporting us on Patreon. There's a lot of amazing things coming next year. We're going to be trying to go full time Game Gengo, so you're going to expect a huge explosion more of content next year so that we can dedicate our time all towards getting as much content as possible for you guys and helping everyone learn Japanese in a fun way with video games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you all again in the next video.